If you're backpacking for a few days or just going car camping, there might be times where you crave a meal that's a little different from the usual oatmeal or gorp. With a little creativity, you can enjoy tasty and interesting meals while on the trail. Today, we'll be cooking up an evolution on the baked potato the stuffed potato, or the spud plug, as we like to call it. We'll be preparing two types, a dinner and a breakfast variation. Aside from the potato, the ingredients you choose to bring are up to you. We've chosen ingredients that will last on the trail during a multi-day trip. First, a russet potato. Next, some cheese. You can go with shredded, or you can opt for a block of cheese if you want something that'll last longer outdoors. For meat, pre-cooked bacon bits, canned meat like Spam, and cured sausage. All things that don't require any refrigeration. And finally, eggs. If you're nervous about bringing whole eggs, you can either bring powdered eggs, or you can carry them in a protective container like one of these. To cook the stuffed potato, you'll need some aluminum foil and a shallow camping pot or pan. To start, slice a small piece off of one end of the potato. Then use a spoon to start hollowing out the inside of the potato. Set aside your scraps to use later. If you don't have a spoon, you can also scrape out the potato carefully with your camping knife. Afterwards, you should have a nice hollow potato. Next, take the hollowed out scraps and add them to a Ziploc bag with seasoning of your choice. We're using salt and spicy Cajun seasoning for a little kick. By putting the seasoning in a Ziploc bag, it'll be easier to bring, and you can mix in the potato without making a mess. For our dinner potato, we'll be adding bacon and cheese. And why not? Let's cram some Spam into this spud. Fill your potato with the ingredients of your choice. We'll be putting some Spam on the bottom, our potato mix in the middle, and more Spam on the top. Make sure you pack the ingredients down well. Grab your foil, cap off your potato, and wrap it tight, and make sure it's completely covered. For the breakfast potato, we'll be using an egg, which you can scramble if you prefer, and some sausage which we cut into smaller pieces. If you have any extra scraps, you can cook these separately over the fire. By the time you've finished preparing the potatoes, you should have a good fire going with a nice pile of embers. Bury the potatoes in the embers, but don't forget to add extra wood to keep the fire going. Cook the potatoes in the embers for 25 to 30 minutes. While you're waiting, go ahead and cook up the extra potato scraps. You can also try other ingredients like onions, avocados, garlic, french fried onion toppers, mozzarella and pepperoni, and for the adventurous eater, anchovies, sardines, and even curry seasoning. Carefully remove the potatoes from the fire. Once they've cooled to the touch, gently unwrap them. Good so far. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. Oh, I'm so excited to eat these. <laughs> I actually purposely didn't eat anything beforehand. Oh man. In anticipation. I'll give you one of these dinner ones. Here's the breakfast one. <laughs> oh, that is really good. Was that the breakfast one? Yeah. Okay, I'll try the breakfast one then too. These actually turned out perfectly. It's like, I'm always worried that it's gonna burn in the fire. Mm -hmm. But every time we tried it, it's turned out really well. Mmm. Wow. Mm. That's so good. Mm. And it's got like, just the right amount of flavor too. And actually I'm surprised that the egg didn't leak out at all, but it worked really well. Yeah, the egg kind of glues everything together. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try the dinner one now. Okay. We've got our sort of shredded potato combination in here. It's like a Cajun seasoning with Spam, potatoes, bacon, and cheese. With the turkey Spam in there, uh -huh. it really tastes like some sort of like Thanksgiving dinner or something. <laughs> yeah, you're right. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. The spice we used was really, um, it got a lot of kick. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to use spicy ones. Pretty you don't much want to. Any seasoning that you want, you can use. But mm -hmm. meat and potatoes when you're camping, it's kind of like it just goes together. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's really good. I'm gonna try the shredded potatoes. Okay. Hmm. It's almost kind of like scallop potatoes. If you brought oil, mm -hmm. or you could grill it more like um, hash browns, hash browns or something. 
it's a little like underdone, but I actually like the crunch. Like it's not super crunchy, it's really cooked through, but there's still some nice bite to it, you know? It's really a matter of preference on how you want to cook it. The real question is which one do you like better, the breakfast or the dinner? I don't know. They're both really good. Mm -hmm. I feel like the only problem with the breakfast one is you need to put more sausage in there. Mm -hmm. I can agree with that. <laughs> I'd say it's a success though. Yeah. The Spud Plug is a delicious and hearty backpacking or camping meal. But let us know what your creative food ideas are in the comments. Remember to give the video a like and check out our new River Gorge episode, where we ate these for the first time. And be sure to join our Patreon community, where you can get access to behind-the-scenes content, exclusive live streams, and more.